This is the sick mind of South Africans. When it is time to celebrate great achievements, we are looking for pain. But let us look at the facts. First of all, there is a letter that we received from UEFA confirming the match as an A-friendly. Secondly, there's a letter that we received from FIFA confirming it as a friendly A-match, which classification was confirmed by FIFA. Thirdly, everybody saw the FIFA World Cup there. Now, I ask you, uh, why were they sent the World Cup only because uh, some people want to practice? It's not serious. We have received nothing from FIFA. FIFA has not spoken. It is a sick mind of people in South Africa who are inventing this. Let us now deal with the facts. The argument that we raise is that there were supposed to be six substitute and the seventh one ran onto the field. That is the argument. One, it is the referee on the night that determines how many substitutes can enter the field based on the agreement in the match coordination meeting. The referee is the final authority on that field of play, and his decision is final. It has nothing to do with the event organizers, nothing to do with the coach of Spain or the coach of South Africa. And everybody knows, once you enter those white lines and you're on the field of play, the referee's decision is final. The only thing that one can conclude is that maybe there was an error on the part of the referee. And then the argument, wrongfully, in my view, deliberately shows, no, 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 the match may be downgraded because the referee made a mistake. Let me tell you about referee's mistake in the World Cup. Maradona scored a clear goal with his hands. FIFA gave Argentina the World Cup. We all saw it. We saw the referee's mistake. Yeah, in South Africa, 2010 World Cup, Bloemfontein. Lampard scored a clear goal. It was over the line. The referee in the World Cup said, no, it's not a goal. Did FIFA downgrade that World Cup match between England and Germany to now a friendly? One referee in, in, in uh, uh, the match against Uruguay gave one player two yellow cards, failed to send him off discovered later that the referee made a mistake. Did that match become a friendly match? Where in the world was a match changed? Its classification changed based on the referee's mistake. So it means if you play a world, uh, a, a final of a competition and the referee makes a mistake, then they can change that final match into a practice match. It's a sick argument. Now, and the top position is very clear. The only thing that could have happened is that the referee made a mistake, and it has nothing to do with us. Gordon Edison was very clear expressing the view that in terms of the match coordination meeting, the referee uh, should have six, six substitutes. That was the agreement. That agreement was honored by Safa. Bafana Bafana made five substitutes for the record. Now, I've looked at the referee's report and the match commission's report. It does not support the contention that some people in the media are paddling. It's not supported by these reports. And let me tell you lastly, when England played Trinidad and Tobago in Trinidad, there was in fact seven players on the field. Was that match downgraded? No. Why is there now a sudden invention around this issue, which never existed anywhere in world football? There was an A-category match, South Africa won it. Uh, South Africa is required to submit all the reports to FIFA, and that's where the matter ended. Why are only some federations asked to answer these questions based on nothing? There's nothing in front of you. The top authority in football is FIFA. On a flight of an imagination of an individual or individuals whose names are not mentioned, whose source as the authority is not mentioned, and as a federation, we are called upon seriously to discuss this thing in the public domain. We are the only country in the world where this happens, where people look for pain in joy and celebration and achievement. Why do you want people to sit in pain after what such a joyous evening for Philadelphia football? What is the motive? So we must ask, now, who came up with this idea? Because FIFA is not quoted. SAFA is not quoted. Nobody is quoted. We will uh, submit all reports to FIFA. And if FIFA has any further questions, we are ready to respond to that. But one thing that we will not accept is that uh, wrong impressions are generated in the media without substance and without authority. Uh, that is very unfortunate.